What's up, fellas, ladies? Thank you for tuning into the show. My name is Paul, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make beautiful custom branded glass bottle like this aviation gin. And not just how to manufacture custom packaging like this, but what does it actually cost to make a glass bottle? And, and I'm also be, gonna be covering what mistakes you can avoid that happen way too frequently when you're doing custom packaging. So as we can see here, this is a custom clear glass bottle with a single label up front, ingredient deck screen printed on the side, and a seal label on the top. Aviation has done a great job with this hang card using the celebrity that is obviously one of the owners of this brand is Ryan Reynolds. I love how they aren't covering the entire front with a label, leaving plenty of real estate leading down to this where this batch is distilled, which is, as you can see, in Portland. And as you go around the back here, it being a clear bottle, you can see the back custom molded curvature, these lines. We have a logo embossed towards the top and a custom silver cap. Okay, you guys might be thinking, okay, Paul, um, this is a national brand. It's got celebrity backed. They have distribution everywhere. They're able to spend a ton on this custom packaging. But what if I told you guys, it's actually cost less money. Yes, less money to produce custom packaging than it is to buy stock packaging. When a brand uses a standard or stock bottle, it feels and communicates standard and stock product. Like this is sort of branding 101. Like take this Five Wives Vodka custom bottle, for example. This is a project that we did here at Process Agency for a company that wanted to elevate their brand and sell more product uh, with custom packaging, all while actually just decreasing their packaging costs. So let's break this thing down because the costs are gonna be right in alignment with this aviation gin. This is a vodka from Ogden's own distillery. This is custom molded while subtle, really transports you to the Art Nouveau era with the label and the custom shape that helps tie into the overall brand story. So as we brand our own packaging, we wanna ask ourselves, so what feeling, what air, what time, what place are we trying to communicate to our customers? The label is part of this, but often the shape of the bottle can do much more of this and this feeling we're trying to invoke. For large brands, this type of detail is expected and necessary at this point, but for these smaller brands, these smaller distilleries out there, it's arguably more important to level up your packaging into, into custom packaging because when you're trying to compete with the big dogs, like you gotta look and act like the big dogs. So this packaging was originally sold in stock bottles. We designed and created this custom mold, which instantly validates uh, the, the perception of the brand compared to the competitors in the market. Because of the placement of the art on the shoulder, we had to adjust the design and molds to improve the depth and the clarity of the logo and avoid any areas that might have caused issues from removing the bottles from the mold. This can be, this is constant adjustments when you're doing manufacturing like this. Another area that you need to be aware of when you're doing custom glass manufacturing is volume control. Now volume control, accuracy and molding can be a challenge to achieve. The mold and the structure of the glass with a volume has to equal an acceptable final range. So the product is consistent when filled. So if you're filling like a million bottles up and you don't have volume control in your glass, it's gonna trigger a significant amount of overfill with your product. This will cause the fill line to be too high or too low and just inconsistencies all over the place. So when you work with a factory and an engineering team, this must be built to model with this volume control when to do it correctly. All right, this next section, we're gonna break down the cost of this packaging. What does it cost to manufacture a like an aviation gin type bottle, Five Wives vodka? Um, how do you design this, prototype it, and get it manufactured? So first, things first, you need a CAD designer. To get something like this done with a CAD designer, if, if process agency were to do it, it would cost about $1,000. Mm -hmm. um, the artwork, branding, labeling, like that's a different beast in and of itself. And we have all of that in-house here. So now that you've got your CAD, um, we're gonna go into tooling and molding. Now a mold for something like this is gonna run you five to $8,000 with the right factory selection that has an expertise and experience in glass manufacturing. Okay, there's a lot of manufacturers out there, a lot of stuff on Alibaba, and there's some great things on there, but you, there's a lot of downfalls. There's a lot of mistakes that people make when they don't go into manufacturing with their eyes wide open. So stay tuned to the end, I'm gonna share some of these pitfalls. Custom molded bottles generally start at the 25,000 unit minimum, although you can go lower than this, but to really optimize both the price and the shipping costs, um, look with a 750 milliliter glass bottle, you can fit 25 to 30,000 of these in one shipping container. 
So, so what about the unit cost itself? Those are the size, the shape, the detail, all this makes a difference when you're manufacturing one of these things. So the bottle itself, when you're finished with it, should be in that 50 cent cost range. Uh, it, it can even go up to almost a dollar, but that's if you're gonna get more complex with shape and design. Uh, and when you add in, so when you add in your like labels, your corks, your everything else, your seals, you should be around that 70 cent range for a custom bottle like this. So what I think is significant about the pricing is the fact that, so I got this stock bottle, I quoted it in numerous supply chains online, and, and this was literally, it was double, sometimes triple the cost in some cases, it has no customization, no special shape or branding on it. You're simply looking at your label to be the only distinguishing factor amongst your competitors and your brand. We're talking about triple the price, you guys. So for all the reasons, as a brand to go custom, it, it just makes more sense, like literally more sense, more money. You're gonna add more dollars to your bottom line when you go custom, which almost seems backwards. Uh, another note on the pricing range, when, you, when you're quoting this out, the type of glass, the quality control or QC and the supply line and the packaging, packing requirements all makes a difference in pricing. So some factories are gonna quote you, you gotta, be, you gotta watch out for this, some factories are gonna quote you like a really, really appealing price and they're gonna hide some of those hidden costs until you're too deep in the project. You're not even gonna ask them about some of these hidden costs. So glass commonly has errors that um, in, the, in the QC process that hold a tight or a wide tolerance. Also affecting the quality and the price are the holding areas and the storage areas. So when this packaging gets made, it comes off the line, it's gonna, get, it's gonna sit somewhere. And the instruction that you give the, the factory on the cleanliness standards that you, is gonna help dictate the pricing. One of the advantages that you have when you work with a, a company like Process is that we have both our own factories and our own teams in China. Um, it, it, you need to ask your factories about their cleanliness standards, especially if you have a bottle like this and, and particles and things can get inside it. This is something that is very often forgotten or not even talked about in manufacturing. Let's talk about sales for a minute, because as we've shown, we know we can, we can decrease our packaging costs, our manufacturing costs with custom packaging, but can custom packaging actually affect and increase your sales? So with a distillery like Ogden's own Five Wives, uh, going from a stock bottle to a custom bottle, does this, does this affect sales? And, and honestly, the simple answer to this is yes. Uh, it's, it's been interesting to see from our chair, like we see brands come in all the time and we see them, what they're, their sales were before and after they implement custom packaging, what their sales volume goes to. And you guys, it always goes up. So another note on manufacturing, there's some, some really important things you guys need to know and you need to be aware of with regards to manufacturing. So we will only produce, when we work with the factory, we'll only work with a factory that is a, an ISO 9000 certified factory. You can Google that and nerd out on it a little bit. We also pre perform pre-production material inspections and post-production inspections to confirm that the materials, you're getting what you're actually paying for. Um, but you're gonna wanna make sure your factory is an ISO 9000 certified. So without a qualified factory, there are great risks like inconsistent glass that can, that can cause breakage. We've also seen that there's factories that produce glass with uneven sidewalls in the neck, and this cause, causes a ton of issues with sealing. All these can be controlled to you guys. Use a quality factory uh, who can control glass flow, control the drying process when it comes off the line. This is really important. All right guys, moral of the story. When we look at these two bottles, custom glass doesn't cost any more than stock packaging glass. In fact, it's often much less as, as we discussed. So same volume of sand, same time on the machine, same labor with a QC filter to like stack it, lab, like the labor to stack, ship, palletize, everything is the same cost. So might as well put it into custom packaging. You're gonna save money, your perception of your branding is gonna go through the roof. So just check out some of those case studies that we have on our website on some of these brands who've gone custom and what it's made for their brand. So you guys, if you're into leveling up your brand and the freshest packaging ideas, give us a subscribe, a like, and show us some love in the comments. And we will see you on the next one.